Elevate oh, doesn't- Hi, Alexandrian person! Um, I totally don't have the fugitive princess with me. You think they'd recognize her? Wait, what? Oh, I guess we can't go this way. I think I trapped down the living room. I didn't think about it. So evidently we're not going here. The only I didn't tell you to turn off there we go. Let's go. Oh. Should I crush his head? How about his chest? Stop it! He's a living creature! What did you say? Braun programmed them to kill, but they're just like anybody else. Lies. They may look human, but that's where the similarity ends. They destroy everything, like wrecking balls destroying buildings. They don't even know we're made of flesh and blood. Aww. That's racist. Is there a thing here that I can get yet? No? No? Okay. Eventually there will be a thing there I can get, I think. Unless I already got it. I can't remember. Are we gonna... Are we gonna... Minister Artanya! There you are. The industrial district is gone, and the business and theater districts are also in ruins. Relegate soldiers to the reconstruction. We must get the citizens' lives back on track. Yes, sir. Uncle, Uncle Artanya! Princess Garnett, Masters of the Dawn. Glad to see you're both safe. Where's Uncle Sid? Is the region safe? Yes, Princess. The castle was spared. Uh, not according to that cutscene. I saw a lot of castle windows get knocked out. Regent Sid is alive. Thank goodness. I will take you to see him. How? The air cabs have been destroyed. Are we gonna walk? That's gonna take forever. Princess Garnet is back. Uncle Sid! Garnet, I thought Braun had imprisoned you. Zidane rescued me. Thank you, Zidane. What? But Freya, Steiner, and Beatrix are left behind. I... Ah, the renowned General Beatrix. I don't think you have anything to worry about. I don't think so either, Dagger. We round up at Pinnacle Rocks instead of Treno, but they'll be fine on their own. Quack, quack, Pinnacle? Did you hear the Gargant? Oh, wait. <laughs> that was Bron's voice. Sid is now Bron. Hi, Sherry. How did you know? It's my job knowing the land surrounding my country. However, sometimes I lack foresight. Braun was after the Gwah! I don't think that much I knew. But I underestimated the power of the I don't think. Maybe I deserve to be cursed with this body. I'm glad you surrendered. Claire resisted and perished. What can I say? What can I do? Hey, we got live one here! Uh oh. Watch it, it might attack. Hey, this one's much smaller than the Thievey! Ouch, let me go! I'm not one of them! Then why are you dressed like a black mage? That must be... Thievey! He is so bad at hiding. We took an Alexandrian soldier into custody. I just said! Should we turn it over to Alexandria? Uncle Sid. Let him go. Master Vivi is not an Alexandrian soldier. It's only a disguise to deceive the enemy. I, I see, my apologies. <laughs> and Uncle Sid makes everything better. I've acquired more information about Queen Bron. The weapons dealer named Kuja is behind the recent string of attacks. Kuja has been supplying Bron with highly advanced magical weapons. Supplying Mother with weapons? Yes, the Black Mage soldiers are among these weapons. According to eyewitnesses in Treno, Kuja appeared. Kuja appeared from the northern sky on a silver dragon. That guy is on Bramisha. He can't, that he came from the north suggests he is from the outer continent. The outer continent? There are many unexplored continents in the world. The outer continent is an unexplored continent located to the north of our missed continent. Continent, 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 continent. I believe Kuja to be the one supplying what? Bronze weapons. The man I saw at the castle must have been Kuja. Could he be the one who is corrupting my mother? If we defeat Kuja, you'll both catch on quickly. Defeat Kuja and Bron loses, loses her weapon supply. That will be our cue for a counterattack. Challenging Bron now will only result in more casualties. So we crush the source of the evil. Yes, Kuja will find other clients even if we defeat Bron. I make no excuse for my mother's behavior, but I shan't forgive Kuja for taking advantage of her. But first, we must rescue Steiner and the others. I'm afraid we can't- I can't spare any soldiers. We must- they must protect our remaining citizens. Eh, that was not what he said. 
Hey, Dagger, I'm telling you, they'll be fine. The best Dragonite of Bramisha, the female General of Alexandria, and Rusty! How could they lose? Rusty has no good thing to say about poor old Steiner. Then I look for Kuja. I want to go too! There's no place for me here as a seven-year-old boy who's gonna go on a world-shaking adventure. Alright, let's go kick Kuja's butt! Zidane, I, the way I see Zidane's personality, I don't actually see him ever saying the word butt. I see him saying ass. I see him sweating a lot more than he does. That means you can't cross the ocean on an airship. What about the new airship that can fly without mist? It's not ready yet. Whoop! Besides, it's under Braun's control. Braun gave us two conditions for our surrender. One was the surrender of the new airship. The other was to hand over Grrrr! at the Falcon Claw. The airship I can understand, but what do you want? What does she want with a piece of stone? I have no idea. Alright, we'll take a boat. That's not an option either. The harbor is also seized. Oh, great! How, what are you supposed to do? Swim? Well, the people do sometimes swim across the English Channel. That's a thing. Then again, this is a lot bigger than that. <laughs> oh, great. There is an old excavation site near a swamp located north from the castle. Monsters not native to our continent are rumored to appear in the excavation site. A cave which was found during excavation is rumored to lead to another continent. Will this cave lead us to the outer continent? Doesn't sound reliable. You sure? Well, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Not knowing is half the fun, huh? Please protect Princess Garnet. We'll prepare a counterattack in the meantime. There's not much, but use this to pre prepare to your journey. 3,000 gil! Huh? It's really not much. I kind of have like 85k. Oh, wait, here's the Don. Will you get my stuff, too? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Time to go do some synthesis stuff, and I'm gonna get some more gold. Which means, yes, I'm going to perform the cotton robe trick. Again. Listen, Limbum is in is Alexandrian territory now. You won't be able to come back for a while. Prepare yourself well, let me know when you're ready. Okay? Let's go make some cotton robes, cotton robes. Oh, wait, do I have the... Do I have the, um, things that I need? Got the wrist. I don't have the hats. I'm pretty sure it's a steeple hat, right? Steeple hat, steeple hat! Ooh, I'm gonna make one of those. Silk robe? Hm. I need a steeple hat, okay. It is indeed a steeple hat that I need for that. Alright. Hi, Alexandrian military, how are you? Let's think about buying a new sword! But everything's so expensive here. I wonder if they'll give me a discount. No, he's specifically not going to- Yep, I raised the price because I don't want to sell them anything. They'll give you a major discount. <sighs> I don't think- I think you're kind of screwed, honey buns. Okay, where's my thing? Wait, what? Oh god damn it, he doesn't have steeple hats here! Shit. Well, I guess we're not doing the cotton rope trick just yet. Oops. Oh, well, I can do it later. <laughs> It's not like I'm running out of gold or anything. Okay, what else can I get at the synthesis shop? Oh wait, I know I need a mage masher, so let's see if we can buy one of those. Mage masher, plus. Baka? Now we're gonna have... Um... Vivi, Garnet, Zidane, and Quina. Kina, Quina, Kina, whatever. For this part of the game, so we got those. Let's get, yeah. I'm gonna need to get a bandana. Let's see, I have one of those. I have none of those. Hmm. Let's get one of those. Get one of those just in case. Glass buckle. And let's go run and get a bandana so I can get the last, uh, silk rub. I know I probably get silk rubs and something else, but... I'm not- I'm not worrying about money! Get me your stuff! Give me a bandana! I needs ones! Bandana, bandana, bandana! No, I don't- I don't need any of those for the moment. Got those. Ooh, do I have these? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Stardust Rod! Maybe one of those. 
I'm not gonna need to worry about those for a long ass time. Okay, okay. And then for these. Um, I got just got a Mithril Breast, so I didn't worry about that. Okay, I think we're good actually. Yay! How is everybody in the Twitch chat doing? I'm doing amazingly, but I'm like knee deep in con depression right now. I wanna go back to PAX. PAX should be forever. And I need. The hell did I get the other beret for? Alright, it's for the slug up there. We don't have Vivian in our party right now, so... Let's go onwards! Hi! I'm ready, let's go. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready! Bronze fleet has arrived. Uh-oh. Why are they loading food instead of valuables onto the ship? I wonder if they're gonna take them all back to Alexandria. Can I have those chests, please? Maybe they're going for a very long trip. Stop that chatter and keep loading the ship! Oh wait, she's supposed to be British. Um, damn them! They think they can walk all over us. We gotta stall more. Let's keep working. Alexandra rules this continent now. Where else can they go and conquer? What do they really want? I don't know, but you know how greedy Bron is. Oh, apparently she used to be a really nice and good queen. Damn you, Kuja. I wonder where we'll go next. I don't know if any kingdom that I don't know if any kingdom that poses a threat to our country. I'm sure Queen Braun has a plan. There's no need for us to worry about such matters. Come now, we need your help. Some Limblum soldiers have locked themselves in the guest room. And I gotta break them out. And then I'm immediately there. Ha <laughs> ha! They just happened to not see us. Come on, dagger! Good girl. Is that a, I, how did they not recognize Garnet when I was in the... I don't know. I wonder what Bronn's gonna do. Sedan. Do we really have to go to the outer continent? Hey, what's up with you? You said you wanted to go. What if... What if something happens to you or Vivi? I might not be okay on my own. Are you worried about me? Oh, God. What? Well, I mean, um... A princess needs her league guards, you know? I'd be stranded without you guys. Are you trying to flatter me by calling me your elite guard? <sighs> Sorry, I was only kidding. He'll be fine with me. What about you, Dagger? We don't know anything about the outer continent. I've made up my mind. I don't want my mother, mother to commit any more atrocities. <sighs> All right, then I'll protect both you and me because I'm the protagonist. Thank you. One of the protagonists. If I had to say, the two protagonists of this game would be Zidane and Garnet. Mostly because Garnet's actually the only other person who has a sprite for the world map. Sidon, I'm so glad you're here! Vivi, where's Uncle Sid? Uh, um, he said, Quack, quack, we here, and went away somewhere. Where could he be? ATE! ATE? Oh. Quack, quack, I did it! Oh, that wasn't him. Oops. I stopped the trolley between here and the Serpent Gate. Quack, quack! That'll show them, show them not to fool around in my castle. Now go. Quack, quack! The excavation site is like a maze. Be careful not to get lost. And take this with you. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's a rag. You big dope! Not just a rag. Whoop! It's a national treasure of Limblum. It is an ancient map of the entire world. Wow, thanks. World map! Yay! We got to world map! Now go, before they find you! Zidon, Vivi, please protect Princess Garnet. Okay! Uncle Sid. Ah! Don't worry about me, I'm stronger than I look. Even though I am a squishy little Oglop. They'll squeeze all the Oglop oil out of my body if we're caught. Let's go, Dagger. I love how he has the lungs and the vocal cords and all that as an oglop to speak perfect English. Quack, quack! How infuriating! 